We're here at the Lawa booth where they just dropped two new nanomorphs. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jia Yun, Small Rig, and B&H. Hi, we're here at NAB 2023 with Stephen from Lawa, sales manager for Lawa. Steve, you just dropped two new nanomorphs. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so the, the two, new lot, two, two new lenses in the line are going to be the 65 millimeter and the 80 millimeter. So those are joining the, the 27 millimeter, 35, and 50 millimeters that started shipping last year. And what's the, what's the form factor for those? So the, those are also available in both the mirrorless mounts and the PL mount uh, housing. Optically, these two lenses are exactly the same, right? 27 millimeter in a PL mount, 27 millimeter on the, uh, this is an L mount setup. So uh, yeah, optically they're the same, but just housed to fit onto that, those larger mounts. Um, and so both the 80 and the 65 are going to be available in, those, uh, in either housing. So speaking of optics, I know there are several ways to do anamorphic lenses. So which one did Lava go for and why? So, so these are a little bit different than a more traditional front anamorphic, um, but they're not a rear anamorphic. You have a focus stack in front of the cylindrical elements, so that helps with focus breathing and the, the traditional mumps or the focus squeeze that you get, or the, 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 uh, the change in squeeze that you get on a traditional anamorphic as you're starting to pull focus and get closer, where that squeeze factor can change, these guys are gonna be cor corrected to prevent against that because you're focusing and then doing that uh, anamorphic squeeze. And again, talking about optics and blares, uh, if you wanna get that look, so what kind of blare options do you offer? So we're offering three different flare colors in these. So we have the traditional anamorphic blue flares. Um, we've added, we have a... J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams, there it is. Uh, we have the, the, that traditional blue look. Um, then we offer an amber flare, uh, a little bit, warm, little bit warmer look. Um, and my personal favorite is the silver or neutral flare, where it, it does have a nice, good-looking flare, but it's not adding any color tint to it. If you do want a blue flare, or if you want an amber flare, or if you want a red flare, you just have to throw, like you can gel your light or use an RGB light, whatever light you shine into it, that's the color of the flare you're gonna get. And how are you making those different kinds of flares? Uh, is that in the lens or like what, what kind of elements are you doing there? The, the flare coating, the, the flares come from the coatings on the lenses, right? So all the lenses you, we're using coatings to control and increase or decrease the amount of flare and glare that you're getting through the optics. Um, and depending on what you're using for those coatings is going to determine what color they end up flaring eventually. So you mentioned that those come into different cameras. But if I have few set, few different bodies, uh, do I need to get two lenses, or what? What can you do for me? So what's yeah, what's really awesome about the Nanomorph line? Of course, we do have the PL or EF, and that's user interchangeable between the two in the the larger housing here. But in the mirrorless housings, depending like it's user interchangeable across all of the different mounts that we offer. So that's E mount, Z, RF, L, DL, Micro Four Thirds, or Fuji X. Um, you get whichever lens you have, you just need to get the replacement mount. It's four screws to swap it out. Um, we do include some shims, depending on what you're mounting to, but what's really cool is you just have to shim it to get close, and then we have a flange back adjustment screw on there where you could actually, while, while on the camera, and I got the reaction from the cameraman here was perfect on that, while on camera, you can fine tune that flange back, so it's, it's not this process of constantly taking the lens off, shimming, putting it on, checking, going, going back, going to a half shim, going to like, no, you get it close and then dial it in while you're on camera. That, that sounds like a dream. Yes, yeah, no, and it's, it's easy to do. I've done it, so anybody should be able to do it. Um, price and availability for those? Initial three launch lenses, um, availability, generally available depending on what flare and what lens mount you're looking for. Supply chain things are coming in and out all the time. Um, the new lenses, should, we should be sh shipping those guys um, as we'll have a little bit better information as we get into the summer, but I'm hoping for by end of summer we'll see, see some shipping on those. Okay, price wise? 
price-wise, the EFPL mounts are $1,500, and then the mirrorless mounts are a thousand bucks, $9.99, and then 50 bucks you can get the replacement lens mounts for whatever you're having. So if you're shooting on a Sony and you have a shoot where you need to be shooting on an RF mount, 50 bucks, four screws, swap it out. So actually, you can you don't you don't have to have a PL mount if you wanted interchangeability. Yeah, no, you don't have to have a PL mount, and that's I, I'm a I, I really push because of the small size of the nanomorphs and the the lower cost of the mirrorless versions. Um, unless you're actually going to be shooting on a PL or an EF camera system, to me, I don't see the value in getting the PL lens where. Traditionally, yes, a PL lens, it's, oh, it's going to be universal. I'm always going to be able to get an adapter. It's got such a long flange distance. Um, because of the optical design, it's not something that you can use an adapter with a speed booster or put a, um, there's a bunch of cool new uh, drop-in backfill, yeah, drop filters or stuff. This lens isn't going to work with any of those setups. It's just got to be a straight lens adapter. So it works and you can do it, but you're not getting the advantage of that PL universality. Um, so going with the mirrorless and then just being able to swap whichever lens mount you need going forward. Gotcha. And are there any kits available? Um, yeah. So we have a kit of the the launch the three launch lenses. You get a little bit of a discount on them when you buy it together. And those those ship with a case that has slots for the 65 and 80 all ready to go for you. You're, you're hinting. A little bit of hint there that once you get the, the launch set, you're going to want to add the others as well. Steven, thank you so much. I'm really excited about those new nanomorphs and what Laowa is bringing into the market. We're going to stay here on the floor and bring you more news and gear. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.